Welcome to this fascinating exploration of one of nature's most incredible teamwork-driven creatures ants. These tiny insects may seem insignificant at first glance, but they exhibit some of the most advanced cooperative behaviors in the animal kingdom. Ants live in highly organized societies known as colonies, where each member has a specific role to ensure the survival and prosperity of the group. Let's dive into the world of ants and discover what makes them such efficient workers. Every ant colony operates under a structured system with three primary castes, the queen, the workers, and the males. The queen is the heart of the colony, responsible for reproduction. Worker ants, usually sterile females, perform various tasks such as foraging, taking care of the young, and defending the nest. Males, on the other hand, have a short lifespan and primarily serve the purpose of mating with the queen. The division of labor is crucial to the success of the colony. Unlike humans, ants do not have a central authority dictating tasks. Instead, they follow a decentralized system where individuals act based on environmental cues, chemical signals, and instinctual behavior. This self-organizing ability allows ants to function as a single unit, making them one of nature's most efficient social species. Ants rely on a complex system of communication to coordinate their activities. The primary mode of communication is through the use of pheromones chemical signals that convey messages about food sources, danger, or nest locations. When a foraging ant discovers a food source, it releases a trail of pheromones on its way back to the nest, guiding other ants to the food. The more ants that follow the trail, the stronger the pheromone signal becomes, ensuring a well-organized supply chain. In addition to pheromones, ants also use touch and vibrations to communicate. For instance, some species engage in antenation, where they tap their antennae against one another to exchange information. This method is often used when recruiting fellow workers for important tasks like moving food or defending the nest. One of the most impressive examples of ant teamwork is seen in their foraging behavior. Ants employ different strategies to find and collect food efficiently. Some species, like leafcutter ants, work together to cut leaves into manageable pieces and transport them back to the colony. These leaves are not eaten directly but are used to cultivate fungus, which serves as their primary food source. Army ants, on the other hand, move in massive coordinated groups, swarming through an area and capturing prey in their path. This form of collective hunting ensures a continuous supply of food for the colony. By working together, Ants can take down much larger prey than they could manage alone. Ants exhibit incredible engineering skills when constructing their nests. Depending on the species, their nests can be underground tunnels, intricate tree structures, or massive mounds made of soil and plant materials. The construction process involves cooperation between thousands of workers, each performing a specific task, such as excavating tunnels, transporting materials, or maintaining the structure. Some ant species, like fire ants, even create living rafts by linking their bodies together to survive floods. This demonstrates their ability to work together not only for productivity but also for survival in extreme conditions. Just as ants cooperate to find food and build nests, they also work together to protect their colony from threats. Soldier ants, a specialized class of workers, serve as the primary defenders. They have larger mandibles and stronger bodies to fight off predators and rival colonies. Some ant species, like weaver ants, build their nests high in trees and defend them fiercely against intruders. Others, like the trapjaw ant, use their powerful mandibles to launch themselves away from danger or attack enemies with precision strikes. When a colony is under attack, ants rapidly mobilize by following alarm pheromones released by their fellow workers. This immediate response helps them launch a coordinated defense, overwhelming predators or rival ants through sheer numbers. Ants are not only excellent hunters but also skilled farmers. Some species cultivate fungus, as seen in leafcutter ants, while others engage in symbiotic relationships with other insects. For example, aphid herding ants protect aphids from predators and, in return, harvest their sugary secretions known as honeydew. This mutualistic behavior highlights the advanced problem-solving capabilities of ants. By cooperating with other species, they ensure a reliable food supply while providing protection to their partners. 
Ants are known for their collective problem-solving skills. One remarkable example is their ability to form bridges using their own bodies. Army ants, for instance, create living bridges to cross gaps and navigate difficult terrain efficiently. This behavior allows them to move their entire colony across obstacles without the need for complex infrastructure. Similarly, when faced with floods, fire ants link their bodies together to form floating rafts, ensuring the survival of the colony. Each ant grips onto another, forming a buoyant structure that can stay afloat for weeks until they reach dry land. While ants are known for working together within their own colonies, conflicts between rival colonies can be intense. Ant wars are common when resources are scarce, and competing colonies fight for territory. Some species, like army ants and Argentine ants, engage in full-scale battles involving thousands of individuals. Ants are a true marvel of nature, showcasing the power of teamwork in its purest form. Their ability to work together through communication, problem-solving, and division of labor enables them to thrive in diverse habitats across the globe. From foraging and farming to nest building and warfare, ants exhibit behaviors that rival even the most sophisticated human societies. By studying ants, we gain insights into how cooperation can lead to success in any community, whether in nature or human society. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of how ants work together. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Until next time, take care and goodbye.